Hey, what's up, mortals? It's me, Robert Ramirez, aka Rar's Revenge here. And before we get into the video, there's a few things I'd like to say. A quick thank you to our supporters on Patreon. The full list will be at the end of the video. If you'd like to support us and our content, please go over there and check it out. Before we get into today's video, I would like to say we're starting a new channel based on anime lore. Make sure to click the icon or description to check out our first video on that channel. If you haven't watched the previous parts to this what it, please do. Link is in the description down below. Last time Deku struggled in his training to get a hang of the balance breaker after hard work and effort. Gran Torino sees this and tells Deku that they'll be going to Hosho City to fight street villains. They go on a train to Hosho City and Anomu rams through the train cart breaking it with the pro hero in his hand. Deku catches him and Gran Torino kicks the Nomu sending him flying towards a wall. Deku runs off knowing that there's trouble. He hears a scream and heads towards it. He follows the noise finding the hero killer on top of Tenya's body. About to go for the final blow, Deku stops the hero killer with a dragon shot. A vicious battle between Deku and Stain erupts. Stain tries to use his sword on Deku, but Deku's gauntlet absorbs the sword allowing him to use it against Stain. Deku and Stain get into an epic sword fight until Deku finally starts boosting and launches Stain away. Stain tried to use his bloodlust bind technique to freeze him, but it didn't work on Deku and Stain Killer got knocked out. Next day, Class 1A comes back from their internship. They congratulate Deku on being on the news. Todoroki isn't surprised because he knows Deku's quirk is powerful, but Bakugo just ignores it. Then All Might walks in and says, Good morning, students! Today we'll be doing training exercises to test how much you've learned from your internships and prepare you for your final exams. Get into your hero costumes and meet me on the field. They all gather on the field and All Might explains that they'll have to go through obstacles to try to save him. All Might says, Izuku, Ojiro, Siro, and Ashido, get to your assigned spots in the obstacle course and get everyone else ready to go to the room over there and watch this on full screen. Denkai asks the rest of Class 1A, who do you think will win guys? Todoroki, Tenya, Denkai, and Ochaku said Deku is going to win. Momo and Jiro think Ojiro will win. All Might announces to them all, Once you hear the buzzer, you may go. Three, two, one! The buzzer goes off and everyone heads off. So far, Ojiro's in the lead until he gets passed up by Deku flying in his scale mail. Deku gets to All Might first, and All Might says, Wow, what power! I felt your speed and power just from here! Amazing! Ojiro comes in second, Siro in third, and Ashida in fourth. All Might says, Great work! Your final exams will be in a day. I believe it's those robots you guys fought from the Entrix exam. Later, they finish up the written exams. Then Anazawa walks in and says, All right, final exams are today. Dress into your hero costumes and follow me. They all gather, but suddenly, Mr. Principal jumps out of Shoto's scarf and reveals to Class 1A that they will not be having a battle simulation against robots for their next exercise. Mr. Principal explains that the recent surge of villains has caused the school to increase the quality of their training methods in order to increase the students' battle experience. Mr. Principal says that from now on, UA students will be having battle simulations similar to real life battles. Mr. Principal reveals that Class 1A's test exercise will be forming pairs and facing one of UA's teachers in combat, shocking Class 1A. Mr. Principal states that Class 1A's pairs and the teachers they will be fighting have been decided already. The principal says now for the matchup, Team Sato and Kirishima versus Sematos, Team Asui and Tokiyami versus Ectoplasm, Team Irai and Ojiro versus Power Loader. Team Todoroki and Yayorozu versus Eraserhead. Team Uduraka, Ayomi versus 13. Team Ashido and Kanamari versus Nezu. Team Kodo and Jiro versus Present Mike. 
Team Hagekir and Soji versus Snipe. Team Siro versus Midnight. And Team Midori and Bakugo versus All Might. The principal says, Now get to your teams and discuss your game plan. Deku tries to talk with Bakugo, but he doesn't listen and walks off. Every match goes the same, except Siro's match, which he loses because Mineta isn't there. The final matchup happens, Deku and Bakugo versus All Might. They head to the area and Deku tries once again to tell Bakugo to follow the plan, but Bakugo ignores it. Bakugo charges in by himself, sending explosions blinding All Might for a surprise attack. Bakugo comes up from behind for an attack, but All Might turns around and says, there, sending him flying into a wall, knocking him out. Todoroki says, in his head like a any basic shonen anime? That dumb fool. If he planned with Deku better, they would have easily won. Everyone except for Achako thinks that there's no chance for Deku to pull it off. All Might says, Now that Bakugo charged in by himself and he's out, it'd be easier for me to end this. Deku notices this and says, Well, there's no other choice. We're going to have to fight and flee. D Drag says, Wells, Dragon, Balance Breaker. All Might is walking around looking for Deku when suddenly Deku Deku comes out of nowhere, punching All Might in the face, BOOST, sending him into the concrete. He grabs Bakugo before he can recover and starts racing towards the exit. Boost, 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 boost! All Might says, You wanna play a game of hit and run, huh? Deku is almost close to the exit until All Might pops in front of him, punching him back, back to where they started. Dust clouds from the impact are covering the area with some destroyed buildings. Both the students and the teachers are shocked that he's attacking with a student on him. Luckily, Deku made sure that he took the impact instead of Bakugo. He puts aside Bakugo's unconscious body and leaves it far away from harm. Deku gets up with his armor broken and shattered. Deku says, Running won't work unless he's truly down for good. His speed and power is incredible, even with a handicap. Yes, indeed. I can see why the world looks up to him. But that doesn't matter. You must win this battle if you ever want to reach that level. Deku's armor repairs itself, and All Might shouts out from afar, Seems like your plan didn't work. What will you do now, hero? I'll take you head on, that's what? Deku charged forward to All Might. All Might rushes in at the fastest speed he can go. Everyone is scared because of these two forces like this hit together. Who knows what will happen? Their first collide causing the ground around them to break. All Might is winning the struggle until Deku starts to boost more. <laughs> All Might is getting pushed back. The ground is still breaking and buildings crumbling. All Might says, You're putting a good effort, but can you beat me at my maximum power? No, beyond that! All Might hits Deku with his left arm, then hits him with his right arm, sending him back. Deku's chest piece is broken, but it repairs itself slower than last time. Deku asks Drag, What's going on? Why is my armor repairing slower than usual? Drag says, that clash and the three hits that you took making the armor repair slower. You originally had 35 minutes of this, but just from those three hits, you only have five minutes. Be careful. Deku charges up a dragon shot. sending it towards the ground, making dirt flying everywhere and smoke. All Might says, A surprise attack, huh? That won't work on me. He turns around and punches Deku with multiple fast punches from behind him. His stamina is slowly draining. All Might is about to hit him with the final blow, but Deku forces all of his power into defense. All Might lands the final blow, sending him flying into a van, knocking him on the ground. Drag says, Good move with putting all of your power into defense. If you didn't, you would have lost for sure. But you can't maintain your armor anymore. You will keep the effects and power from it, though. Deku says, Wait, no! I'm nothing without that suit. That's the reason why I even got this far throughout my battles. The armor fades away with red sparkles going up into the air. Everyone is wondering if it's over for the two. Todoroki says, Man, I wanted them to win, especially Deku. But it's the number one hero they're going up against. Ochaku says, He isn't the type of person that would give up that easily. He fights and never gives up. I just know he'll be able to win. All Might stands and waits knowing he will get up soon. Drag says, 
I knew that this would be a problem along the way. But remember, if you wanted to be the number one hero, you should not always rely on that power. You said a while ago to be a hero means to never give up, no matter what. You're supposed to save people and make them smile. Pretty armor doesn't make a hero. Deku hears Ochako and his friend's voice cheering him on. This with drag speech empowers him and says, You're right! Everyone is on my side! He gets up and everyone is glad. Ochako says, I knew it! Deku could do it! Mono says, You seem awfully fond of Deku. Could it be that you like him? Her face glows red and she starts to float in the air and says, No, why would I? All Might grins and laughs. You finally decided to get up. Now, let's have a real battle. Bakugo finally wakes up and realizes he's still here. He looks around seeing what is happening, but he can't tell. He gets up and walks around the city because he knows the fight is still going on elsewhere. Deku powers up. Boost! Drag yells, EXPLOSION! A big burst of energy from the gear is released, and he charges at All Might at high speeds. Bakugo feels the strong power, so he follows it, which leads him to All Might. He hides to make sure he doesn't see him. Bakugo wonders, where was Deku? Until he hears a loud bang with Deku's fist and All Might's fist colliding. All Might comes in again with his left arm, but Deku quickly uses his gauntlet and fires a dragon shot, pushing him and launching him above All Might and behind him. All Might charges up a punch, sending high pressure winds towards Deku, but he blocks it with his gauntlet, sending him flying into a building. Deku gets up, not sure on what to do, and all the while All Might is approaching, saying, Well, you tried. Time to end your exam. Bakugo comes up from behind and says, Hey, bastard! You forgot about me? You're gonna pay for knocking me out like that. All Might turns around and says to himself, Crap! I completely forgot about Bakugo. Bakugo launches a large explosion point blank at All Might, causing a huge dust cloud. Deku uses this, punching All Might, and gets with Bakugo. He thanks him and says, We gotta get to the exit fast. There's no way we can beat him. My temporary power boost is about to run out. Bakugo says, Okay. And he uses his explosion heading towards the exit. Deku uses the remaining the remaining power boost to run towards the gate. The smoke clears and All Might is coughing blood a little bit because of the explosion. He realizes they're heading towards the gate, but then he knows that he can't do anything because of his time limit and the damage from the last two attacks. All Might says to himself, If I just kept an eye on Bakugo, I would have easily won, but well done, Midoriya. You held yourself against me even while suppressed, giving enough time for Bakugo to wake up. Deku and Bakugo get to the gate and finally pass the final exam. They walk into the room where the rest of the class was watching, and they all congratulate him. Siro says, Wow, you handled yourself back there. Amazing! Todoroki says, Even when he's not down. You still managed to do something. Bakugo gets up close and yells at Todoroki, SHUT UP! I'LL BLOW YOUR FACE OFF! Everyone laughs at this. Ochako goes up to Deku and says, I knew you could do it! Kisses him on the cheek with a hug. Deku's face turns red and Ashido says, I guess Momo's assumption was right. Thank you all for watching the video to the end. Now there's a few things I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, I'd like to let you all know that we have a merch store, and who doesn't like merchandise? Some of the items in there are available for a limited time, so if you're interested, go to the description and check it out. Each purchase helps us make more content. Secondly, I'd like to thank our $5 plus Patreon supporters for helping us fund these videos. On behalf of We The Celestial, I'd like to thank the writers for this video, as well as the editors for this video. Their details will be in the description. If you're a voice actor, editor, or writer, or if you're interested in becoming one of those, go to the Discord that is in the description of this video and hit up one of the heads of those areas. We're always looking for new members to join us. Well, that's it from us for today's video, so thank you all for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested, and hit that like button if you liked the video. Until next time, peace out mortals, have an amazing day! And a side note uh, from Raj Revenge here, uh, I'd like to thank all the criticism for all the criticism and compliments that you guys have been giving me um, I'm trying to get better at narrating for you guys so um, yeah I appreciate everything that you guys have and keep them coming I mean I'm only gonna get better if you guys point out my mistakes I know I have a weird speech pattern um, I do have dyslexia and I do have a speech impediment but that's irrelevant or not I don't know um, I'm just trying to give you guys a good unique experience and I love all the the love comments and the hate comments uh, and they're not really hate comments they're more of the 
kind of staring you in the right direction comment. So I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be made into the video, but yeah, I thought I'd just say that if you guys are listening to this, you be awesome and have an amazing day. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light.